Hey everyone, I'm back from Minecon and I'm in the village of Whiphampton, not for an episode, just a little place to hang out while I talk to you for a second before I go on to some uh, live footage from the event. I uh, just had a few things to say beforehand. Uh, first of all, I'm just. Uh, hi, Roof Chicken, where did. You... Where did Roof Chicken just go? Uh, hey, Roof Chicken. Yeah, hi guys. Um, yeah, first thing I wanted to say and show was, look at that, look at that, a genuine, 100% genuine, Minecon 2012 cape. Yay, bishies! How pimp do I look? No, you can't actually really like see it from the front, but never mind. That's that. So yeah, uh, I'm back. Oh, I got back Monday morning. Uh, actually, sorry, I left there Monday morning. I got back here Monday, sort of afternoon, evening time. Oh, I was absolutely trashed. I really was. Uh, not that I've been drinking, because to be honest, I don't drink. Uh, but just no sleep, busy convention. Um, you know, just the the general type of thing. I was absolutely wrecked. So I didn't. I haven't uploaded anything before now. I spent most of Tuesday sleeping. Um, but now I'm back. I'm going to do another episode, some more stuff, upload again, uh, probably tonight and uh, in the next couple of days. I'll make sure I get back on track with it all. Let's have a little wander out into the wilderness while we're here. I'm looking for something anyway. Um, so yeah, well, how did it go? Uh, well, it was fun. Um, I have to say overall, it was it was pretty damn fun. Um, France itself well, she wasn't bad unfortunately and don't you just hate it when people live up to negative stereotypes but the French were oh my god they were they were not good French people I am disappointed um, they were rude arrogant um, they were just so ignorant they were pushy they tried to cut in line everywhere um, they'd push around, they'd just walk straight in front of you, didn't even register that they were, you know, you're almost tripping over them. Um, just barge by, yeah, it give you such a dirty look if you actually manage to say, you know, excuse me, or something like that. Oh, they were just awful. I mean, and that was just the public. I mean, you know, in Disneyland itself, uh, and in our hotel, which was quite nice, by the way, in our hotel, they were, they were quite nice people. Uh, they were very polite and very helpful. Um, but the general French public, they were just, to be honest, they were assholes. A lot of them, um, and it's, it's it's sad because you know otherwise the, the place was quite nice. Um, well, so there was uh, the party. Well, not party, but we spent some time in actually in Disneyland, or at least in the Disneyland Studios Park on Saturday night. Uh, and I have to say, if you've never been, uh, don't bother. Um, I mean, it was only one of the several areas of the park that we were in, true, but it was, it, it, there was nothing to do, really. I didn't even bother getting any footage, uh, you know, I walked in the place, um, and it was like, yeah, I got a few little bits of, like, showing some cool, like, Disney things, all the sparklies and stuff, but then we realised that there's, like, we actually found two rides to go on that are worth going on. Uh, there was the Aerosmith's Rock and Roller Coaster, um, which would have been actually more scary if it wasn't all in the dark. The, you know, if you can't see it coming, you can't. You don't have a chance to get scared. Uh, the other one, which wasn't bad, was the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Um, that was not bad. You go up in a big lift thing, and it takes you, shows you some cool special effects, and shakes you up and down, sort of drops you down a shaft and stuff. Not bad, but other than that. There really wasn't anything worth going on. We wandered around for about an hour and a half, uh, and we went into this place, this diner that was like sort of made to be like High School Musical three, like the sort of canteen and gym and stuff like that. And I had an, a very overpriced and unfulfilling sandwich. Um, and to be honest, that was actually one of the highlights of Disney Park. Um, However, if you ever do find yourself in Disneyland, uh, and somewhere that we, you know, we got a bit more access to because it was the convention, was like the convention centre area, and there is a place there, um, so if you ever do feel, find yourself there, look it up, it's called the Earl of Sandwich, and funny enough, they do sandwiches. 
fantastic sandwiches. Oh, baby, oh, it's a kitten. Oh. Anyway, yeah, they do absolutely fantastic sandwiches there. Um, not badly priced either, especially considering it's like you know Disney. Um, but yeah, that's worth, that's something worth checking out if you do happen to be there at any point. Um, what else was going on? Oh, there's some cool people there. You know, I met um, Ridge Dog, who, you know, from the Voxel Box, who does stuff with the Yogs cast quite often. Uh, I, was, I was there with him. Um, he's oh, such a funny boy. You might have seen him on the live stream anyway, on, in the Q&A panel. Um, funnily enough, uh, actually, I was in that as well. Um, some of you might have seen the live streams already if you haven't check them out in especially specifically the scrolls and uh, minecraft future updates panels uh, at the question and answers at the end i was on both of them um i managed to get my questions in um got a compliment on my hat from jacob so yeah i'm the guy uh, with the long hair uh, the long beard long coat and the green hat um, so if you haven't seen the live stream already check them out check them out anyway even if you um, you know you don't really care just check them out because uh, there was some really good stuff to learn there especially about the future updates for minecraft there was um, some really interesting stuff there uh, so I got to have a little go of scrolls uh, finally that game is pretty really damn good and as soon as it's out for public uh, alpha or beta whatever it's in um, release uh, I'm definitely going to be getting that uh, I don't care if it costs money I'll buy it uh, it's a great game I'm going to be running a lot of footage of that uh, I think that's something that I could definitely get into playing you know semi pro level um, hopefully uh, which is the reason I you know ran the question and asked the question I did while I was there hopefully um, they are going to be looking into uh, like sort of professional tournaments or at least semi-professional tournaments and things uh, with the ranking system and stuff like that so that's that's something interesting to be looking at where's the sun oh, it's going down let's head back to the village I got some clay uh, well oh I met uh, Jordan Moron uh, the great captain sparkles and not just at the convention actually uh, he was there you know he did a panel when he was signing stuff uh, but Monday morning on the train at the train station to come home, I met him there. A um, really cool guy, uh, a lot younger than I thought he was from seeing his videos, uh, and somewhat shorter. I mean, I'm not, I'm not exactly Andre the Giant myself, but he's you know a couple of inches shorter than me. But and, you know, really nice guy. We had a chat, you know, just basically exchanging pleasantries and stuff, waiting for a tra train. Um, that was cool. I that was that was good. You know, a little claim to fame. Um, there's a few other people there I recognise, but you know, I'm not not big fans of them, so I, di I didn't really get too involved. Um, just Ridge Dog and Captain Sparkles. They are the two that uh, I was like, oh wow, it's Captain Sparkles. Oh wow, it's Ridge Dog. And I'm generally not very s starstruck like that. Okay, I've got the village loaded. Oh, why is it not loading today? Oh, I don't know. My PC's being funny. Uh, so yeah, so in a moment, um, I'm going to just cut into some, uh, to some live footage, not a lot of it, I have to admit, for various reasons. Firstly, my camera, it's not very good, um, and the problem is that somebody, before I left home, somebody took it off charge way too early, and about five minutes into the first day, into Saturday, it ran out, and so I didn't get anything for, hardly anything for the Saturday. Uh, the Sunday, I did get some stuff, but the problem is a lot of the stuff was live streamed. All the panels and everything was live streamed. Much better quality. I'm a terrible cameraman. It was better quality, better films, and it's all up there already. There wasn't much point. So, but I did get, you know, some uh, some little snatches of things which were quite interesting and cool to see. So, uh, in just a minute, moment, I'll be cutting to that there. So, stay tuned. One of the cool little places uh, we've got in quite early on in the uh, whole thing. This is actually from the first day before my camera ran out. Was called Jeb's Farm, where a guy and his team had made, uh, as you see, all the animals from uh, Minecraft in like real life model versions, at least baby versions of them, who are actually fluffy and furry and woolly and feathery and everything else. Uh, they were really quite cool. It's one of my favourite little things, actually. 
Um, so I managed to catch a few little bits of bobs of the various different things. There's the chicken. Zoom right in on the chicken. It was actually, you know, covered in feathers and everything. Um, the little new shroom, the little cow, sheep, the dog, the cats, uh, the puppies were so... Oh, it was all so sweet. So that was really, really cute. Um, here's the little kitty cat. Oh, little kitty cat. It actually looked kind of scary. It was the scariest one. It, was like, it looked like a real pissed off one. And the little sheep, the baby sheeps, they were just fantastic. So that, that's the cuteness factor. Okay, now, coming up any time now is... Yeah, something you might recognise. Um, yeah, there. People keep walking in front as well. These are the, uh, the pictures uh, from Minecraft. Uh, actually, were pictures on the walls everywhere. And there we are. Say a very dark... Oh, I forgot to put the light on the camera, but... Um, big, tall, scary Enderman. He was huge. I mean, looking up there, that was... You know, people coming up to his knees. Right, so I've got, oh yeah, here's some footage I got of uh, Cobalt, uh, which I didn't play while I was there because I've actually already got it. I bought it, like, as soon as they released the alpha, I I, uh, I bought it. It's, it's a cool game. I'm really waiting for it to be sort of more in-depth. It's not, not something I'll play a lot, but, you know, I want to support Mojang because they're a great company. Minecraft's a great game. Scrolls is a great game. And Cobalt is a great game. It is very good. Um... So I wanted to support it, so I went ahead and bought it while it was early and it was cheap. But um, yeah, it's a fun little game. I managed to, I got some footage of it just to show. And in a second, I think it will show um, why, I mean, even if I wanted to play it, why I wouldn't. Because, you know, they had like a dozen or so uh, things set up for it. And there was just absolutely no way I was getting a game of it. There were people queuing up, like, for ages. Um to play this it was crazy uh, there you go look I mean like all of the screens every single one has got people at it and it did all the time um, that was just there were a lot of people there and here's a little bit I've got a bit of scrolls a minute or so scrolls here which I've left in um, I can say this is as I was saying before I, I did play uh, some scrolls uh, brilliant game, very deep tactics because um, it's as you can see set on a grid uh, and you've got totems, they've got totems, you've got to destroy three of your three of the five opposing totems to win um, it's it's coming along nicely, it's going to be a very good game, it's going to be very deep, it's going to keep people going for quite a long while with content updates and things because you know this is Mojang but again you can see look, I mean I was lucky to get the um, getting a few games of it myself because uh, look, just every single screen has got somebody at it and it did pretty much all the time i just managed to grab games you know somebody got up and i was like oh oh, oh there's a free one jumped on at a couple of games um but yeah i'm really looking forward to that it's, it's a really cool game uh have i got a bit more footage of this than i thought um yeah, uh, so there's. I'll talk a little bit about the game then, since I did have a bit more footage. And we do, you know, I haven't got a huge amount of footage overall. Uh, as I say, I'm. I've discovered I'm a really, really bad cameraman, and my camera. It's a new camera. It's only cheap, I know, but I thought it would be a bit better than it was. And you can see, it's not actually a really great camera at all. Um, but I got what I could, and you see, there's, they've already got in some different playing fields. Um, there's the three different sort of resources, growth, energy, and order. They're adding a fourth soon called Decay. Uh, you cast creatures on your side and they attack on a sort of uh, countdown basis. After every, every so many turns, they run in, there you go, and you see an attack. Um, that one looked like it's self-destructed. I think that guy's played an order deck. Um... Then you've got enchantments, which you put on your creatures to make them stronger and better. Of course, spells, which directly affect your opponent or yourself. Um, so there's a lot to the game. Uh, 120 something scrolls in at the moment. Now, now they're saying in the panel, there's actually 150, but they've just uh, haven't released the last 30 yet. Uh, they've just added them. So uh, they will be out soon, hopefully by the public. Uh, alpha release uh, which I'll be playing um, but I mean don't worry too much for now because if you are interested in the game I'd certainly recommend you know having a look at it and um, 
and we waited for it. As soon as it as soon as it's available, I'll be getting it, um, and I'll be playing the shit out of this game because I mean I'm an old school collectible card game player. I used to play. I played Magic back in the early nineties, um, and I've played since then Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Star Wars, Netrunner, uh, Middle Earth. And a couple others which, you know, lasted about five seconds. Um, but yeah, so that's some scrolls. Um, and we're back at the end of the scrolls footage I can see on my thing. So the next bit along was, what was it, the Museum of Mojang. Yeah, that's coming up in just a couple of seconds. Here we go. We're in the Museum of Mojang. Uh, and this is some of the Minecraft Lego. Uh, they had a little a big chunky thing there some chunks with some bits and bobs going on a whole load scatter of random legos they weren't selling minecraft lego there there wasn't a lego booth we did look um i would suspect that's probably because lego themselves they can't keep up with demands it's sold out worldwide uh there was some sort of i don't know if it was an early prototype for the iron golem or what i mean it doesn't look anything like the iron golem in game but it was that was cool uh that there um, is cobalt uh, they had a cool statue of Cobalt there. Um, again, the lighting was terrible in this place. This is the only problem with getting a lot of footage is the lights were it was so dark. Um, there's some great artwork up on the walls. Uh, again, it's dark, but uh, do you know what? It wasn't just the Minecon. The whole of France. It's like they have an allergy to electricity. Uh, there's some scrolls artwork there and the sort of law scroll. Um, everything in France was dark. I mean, you could barely see where you're going half the time. And here's another thing from Scrolls. Uh, it was uh, there's like a sort of tabletop version of the uh, computer game. I mean, I don't think it's for release. I think they just mocked this up for uh, demonstration value because th there's not a tabletop version of the game out or ever coming out, as far as I'm aware. Uh, although it would be cool to be able to sit down and play that with some of my friends because you know, so we are old school in that way, and we do like to play these proper things with paper and dice. Uh, so after that, I managed to get back round to, um, here we are, uh, uh, I was managed to get some footage of, this is Frozen Synapse, uh, and this is another sort of game, another sneaky game, uh, it's all part of this indie thing they had going, I have no idea what this game is to be honest, um, I never caught the name of it, it looked quite cool, it's like a spy thing, uh, like the um, Stealth Bastard, which is a free game, um, it's kind of like that. It's slightly different, but it looked cool. And this one, oh, I forget the name of it. It was Somebody Has No Friends. And this, you play this sort of red block with a ball on top. It's like a puzzle platform game where you have to sort of just work your way through the levels, avoiding all the various obstacles. And you can switch the ball, as you can see here, is going to happen. Switch the ball, blunk to another blocks, um, and to solve puzzles. So I cut, cut over to this one because this person here was actually solving a puzzle uh, and you can see the, the different heights of them means they can jump different heights uh, so the little one can only jump a little bit the medium one can jump a medium amount a bit and this really tall skinny one as you'll see you'll uh, spring back to that in a second boing you can get a spring back to it dude uh, it was having a bit of trouble with this to be honest but yeah here you go you see that one thing just jumps everywhere um, and yeah it basically it's one of these yeah platform puzzles that you just have to work your way through to the end avoid the traps and the enemies and the dangers and everything solve the route and get out uh, it's a cool little game um, I really wish I could remember the full name but if you do know what it is or if you've heard of it just go and look it up because um, that certainly that did I didn't really get a chance to play it but it, it was, does look very cool so that's that um, I think are we getting close to the yeah one of the last, last thing I did so one of the coolest booths because they had some really great stuff as you can see as I go across the sign threadless who do uh, as you can see t-shirts and other things like that um, they did have uh, some really cool designs and to finish off just to show you exactly how many people here there were 7,000 people at Minecon and that is the uh, closing ceremony uh, and I just did a quick sweep around so you could see just the sea of people there was. So 7,000 people. It was busy there. It was really, really busy. 
Okay, so that was Minecon 2012. Um, I'd love to have brought you a bit more footage than that, but I say there are, there were many people there with much better cameras and better camera skills than me. Um, to be honest, I've never much liked cameras in that that like you know physical cameras that you carry around. I'm terrible with them. You know, you're just lucky that I got that much footage without fingers over the lenses and stuff like that. So that's about it. Um, I've had a, I had a real good time there. Um, it's a shame that you know some more of my viewers couldn't go, uh, or more people in general couldn't go. Although seven thousand people was a, was a lot of people, as you saw in that last bit of footage, um, it was packed. There were there were some queues there that you would not believe. Um, Amphius, uh, who went with me, uh, he stood in line at one point for the Jinx booth for about an hour and a half to get some gear I actually waited uh, until the line was a, a bit shorter I still stood in line for like half an hour um, but the point and problem then was I didn't get exactly what I wanted um, so I ended up not buying much at all because they'd sold out um, but you know that's the way it goes um, yeah you know that was uh, it was really good I'm definitely, as long as it's not somewhere impossible to get to for me, I'm definitely going to be going back next year. Uh, hopefully next year my camera skills will improve. Maybe, you know, I'll have a bit more money and I'll be able to uh, get a better camera. Uh, and I'll actually get some decent footage. Um, but, that otherwise, until then, that's about it for Minecon. Um, of course, it's not. that's not it for the village. Um or my YouTube or anything I shall be back with a proper episode uh, very very soon now I'm rested and more more my normal self uh, I'll get plenty of content up because I, I do appreciate that you know I haven't been doing anything for uh, almost a week now I haven't uploaded anything before this so I'll make sure I get on with that pretty soon um, we've got lots to do and lots to cover I've got some new things coming up I'm not going to tell you exactly what although I will give you a slight hint that there's going to be some uh, Minecraft and it's multiplayer and it's new stuff that you probably won't have seen before um, not a lot of people have done it yet uh, it's going to be really good really fun there's gonna be a whole group of us doing it uh, and make sure to stay tuned for that I'm not telling you what it is uh, you might be able to guess for yourselves, but if you can, keep your shtum, don't tell everybody. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with for that pretty damn soon. Otherwise, I'm going to be finishing up Black Mesa. Um, and I think, you know, uh, it's been done before, and it's an old game now, but I'm going to do Half-Life 2 afterwards. So if you've been watching the, my Black Mesa playthrough and enjoying that, uh, make sure to come back and check out my Half-Life 2 footage. Uh, playthrough in much the same style I'll be taking on the role of Gordon Freeman again in that um, actually yeah this looks good as I have been with um, the Black Mesa and playing the very cynical very grumpy bad tempered uh, Gordon Freeman who really doesn't want to be there but is stuck in a situation that he has no control over um, say some other stuff on Steam and think we have to be coming back but overall um, it'll be back to business as usual shortly so I hope you enjoyed seeing a little bit of footage and hearing about my experiences at Minecon um, you know if you're a player on the server you're welcome to come and chat to me um, about it about anything else like me meeting Captain Sparkles about how cool a guy he actually is uh, anything else like that I hope you enjoyed this video. It's not been exactly something um, of a, the, my, my, uh, my most professional standard, admittedly. But, well, what can you do? I'm, I'm a noob at this. You know I'm a noob at this. Um, so, I, I did my best. But, I'll see you all next time. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to hit the likes and subscribes if you do, in fact, like and want to subscribe. And I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.